Today in this tutorial, we will familiarize ourselves with a marvelous technique to transform our color grading. Welcome to the Resolve Store. Let's learn the secret of this magical tool. Okay, before we start working on the project, make sure to import film stock emulation LUTs included with the Cinegrade Power Grade Pack. Okay, we have three clips on the timeline. Two of them are log footages, and the third one is REC709 footage. Let's first learn how to import Cinegrade X Power Grade. Firstly, go to the Color tab. Click on Gallery, then click on Power Grade. Right-click here, then click on Import. Now navigate to where your Cinegrade X Power Grade folder is located. Now among these folders, click on Power Grade folder, and now double click on the .dpx file. Okay, done. Now the most important step is to import the film grain as a mat. Without it, the power grade is incomplete and will not function properly. Go to the media tab, then navigate to where your Cinegrade X power grade folder is located, then click on import folder, and then choose any one of the grains whichever one you want for your project. We've added variety of grains with this pack. Right click on the grain file and click on add to media pool as a mat. Now go back to the color tab and now we'll be applying the Cinegrade X power grade over our footage. Right click on the power grade and then click on apply grade. The footage looks weird, right? Now see what we have to do to make it look normal. We'll talk about all the nodes in detail in our next tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll just learn to apply the power grade, after which we have to work on the Color Space Transform, or CST node. Now make sure the Color Space Transform, or CST node, is selected. The reason why we're working on the CST node is that we'll be converting actual color space of the footage to Alexa's color space. You should know the color space of the footage that you shot. Another way of knowing the color space of the footage is to click on the camera raw. Here you can see the color space and the gamma curve of the footage. The footage's color space is red color four and gamma curve is red gamma four. Click on the effects panel. You always have to start work on the power grade by working firstly on the CST node. Now change the input color space to red color four and gamma space to red gamma 4. But make sure you don't touch the output color space setting. Now we have to connect the mat in the grain node with the 16 millimeter grain we have imported as a mat. You can also start with this step too. Now we have to set the base of the power grain. The footage looks classy. The skin color is tender and the color looks good. We have to check if the saturation, contrast, exposure is all correct, or else we have to fix it. In this footage, everything seems balanced to me. So the next step will be to apply the film emulation LUTs. This negative LUT node is created to apply LUT on the footage. You can use this node to apply or change the LUT applied on the footage uh, right click on this node and then go to Film Stock Emulation LUTs. Then select any of the LUTs. I really like how Kodak Eastman Color Negative LUT enhances the colors of this footage. Let's see the final look. You can press Shift plus D to see before Cinegrade X Power Grade look. And then press Shift plus D again to see the after look. The colors look so dramatic, and the frame looks so cinematic with added 16mm grain to it. If, for instance, you need to work on the footage, then click on this icon to see the color wheels. Then make sure to select the Primaries node. To fix the white balance of the footage, we need to play with the offset color wheel. Shadows, highlights, saturation, contrast, and exposure can be fixed using these color wheels. If you wish to change your color grading game, then you can download Cinegrade X Power Grade from our website. It gives DaVinci Resolve users the ability to emulate film stock without having to go through the costly and time-consuming process of printing to film. The download link for Cinegrade X Power Grade is in the description. Now, let's start working on the next footage. It's a log footage shot on red. 
We'll follow the same steps. We will apply the power grade. Then we will change the color space of footage using CST node. The red input color space of this footage is red wide gamut RGB. The input gamma of this footage is red log 3G10. The base is set. Now let's see which LUT we want to apply. Right click on the negative LUT node. Choose Reveal Selected LUT. Then double click on the LUT you wish to apply. Kodak Vision 2 250D 5205 LUT looks fine. Let's check the footage now. I feel we need to increase a little contrast and saturation of the footage to make it look more vibrant. The colors look a little flat right now. For that, we'll select the primaries node and then increase the contrast from here. Let's increase the saturation of the footage a little bit. The colors look so warm and the grain adds more cinematic edge to it. Looks alluring to me. Now let's work on a Rec 709 footage. Apply the power grade over this footage. Select the CST node. As this is a Rec 709 footage, we'll change the input color space to REC 709 and the input gamma to REC 7092. Let's disable the negative LUT node and see how the footage looks. It looks a little desaturated to me. Let's increase the saturation and see how the footage looks after that. Select primaries node again, increase the saturation. And also increase the contrast a little bit. Ah. That looks perfect to me now. Let's enable the negative LUT again to see how the final look appears. It looks good, but let's see which LUT looks best on this footage. Kodak Vision 320T, uh, 5277 film stock LUT looks great. It actually looks like a frame from a Hollywood movie. Now we'll be releasing more tutorials using this power grade as it comes with unlimited possibilities. One more thing, if you wish to use some remarkable videos shot by the great filmmakers, make sure to check artgrid.com. And also, if you're looking for a wide variety of premium music libraries, you can check artlist.com. You'll be getting two months free if you purchase the subscription using the link added in the description down below. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a master at DaVinci Resolve. Stay tuned.